Space. Okay. Good morning. Happy Thursday, everybody. Thursday. It, it feels like nighttime. There's no sun this morning, so we're a little dark. That's okay. Okay. Um, uh, one of the things that I've learned about myself in the last few years is that uh, I really like adventure. And I'm the kind of person that wants to drive down every dirt road or wait, wait. go Dad, explore. Is, coming. is he? Yeah. Is he running? Is he running? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brody, run. <laughs> Brody. We're going to let Brody come. <laughs> okay, here he comes. He's like, I'm going to ride. Okay, so I'm going to open the door. Okay. Yeah, open, open the door, the door so I can door. jump in. Go. We don't, we don't tolerate. Jump in. <laughs> jump in. This is no stopping game. You are lucky. You should we should have just slowed oh, down with the door open. Oh, there's no room. Just sit on the Yeah, All right. Just sit on the side of the Close the door. Close the door. You got caught 4K. Okay. Thank you, Got it. Just sit on the side of the All right. So, as I was saying, I really like adventure. And so, um, uh, anytime there's anything on like Netflix or something like that about climbing mountains, I can't help but watch it. So a little, a few, I don't know, it's like maybe a year ago, I watched a film on Netflix, a documentary, and it was about um, this guy from, well, the, the, the documentary is called 14 Peaks. Anybody heard of it? Okay. Um, in On our planet, there are 14 mountain peaks that are over 8,000 meters. So how far is 8,000 meters? Okay, it's almost, it's like roughly 24,000 feet, okay? The highest mountain in that range behind us is only half that tall, okay? So these are big, big, big mountains. They're in the countries of, um, uh, it is Nepal and Afghanistan and Tibet. That's where all these giant mountains are. And there's, there was the, a man, um, I forget his name. Oh, Ryan Holt Messner. Ryan Holt Messner was the first person to summit all 14 of those peaks. Okay. Um, and do you guys know how long it took him? It took him 16 years to be able to summit all of those 14 peaks that are over 8,000 meters. Um, pretty impressive. Uh, the next, as, as he was able to do that, more people made that a goal and tried to summit those peaks. And the fastest person to do it did it in seven years. So they cut his time down quite a bit, but it took him seven years to do it. And uh, whenever you go climb these big mountains, you really can't do it on your own. You have to have a team. And um, a lot of the teams, you guys have heard of a Sherpa before. Yeah. So a lot of these Sherpa teams are made up of climbers from Nepal. Okay. So Ryan Holt Messner and a lot of these other people, they're not from Nepal. They're from Europe or from the United States. And um, they're, they're helped to get to the tops of these mountains by a lot of native people, especially Nepalese climbers or Sherpas. Um, anyway, so one of these, uh, the, I, I think kind of the injustice with all of that is that the European and U.S. American climbers are kind of the ones who get all the credit for summiting the tops of these mountains. And not a lot of credit is given to the Sherpas who really helped make it happen. So in the spring of 2019, there was a man from Nepal um, his name is uh, Nims Persia. And Nims came up with the crazy idea to create a full Nepalese climbing team, okay? So just people from Nepal to climb these 14 peaks. And he wanted to do it faster than anybody else had ever done it before. 
And so, uh, so he set a goal with this team to be able to go climb these peaks. And the first peak that he climbed um, was Annapurna, okay? And one thing to know about Annapurna is that for every three climbers that get to the top, one dies. It's a dangerous mountain, along with all of the others, but it, that one especially is a pretty dangerous place to climb. And not only did his whole team make it to the top, but they saved the life of another climber who was also trying to get there and helped him get off the mountain safely. They did that more than once in their quest to climb these 14 peaks. Well, um, during all of this, uh, um, Nim's uh, mother, who he was really close to, um, had a stroke and uh, he was wondering if that was going to be something that uh, derailed their project. Um, she ended up living, uh, barely, and one of her wishes was for him to finish this. By the way, he called this project possible. Everybody told him he was nuts, that he was going to try and beat this record, um, again, of seven years to climb all these mountains. Um, but he did it. He kept pressing on and, and kept working with his team. And uh, he got to the very last peak. So he's done 13 of 14 peaks, okay? And the last peak was in China, in Tibet. And the Chinese government basically told him he couldn't do it. He said they weren't gonna give him a permit and they weren't gonna allow him to climb this mountain. So he started meeting with prime ministers and government officials to try and convince them and show them what he'd done so far. He'd climbed these 13 peaks. And um, this was the last one and kind of trying to share with them the message of what he was trying to accomplish. And they started to listen to him, but they weren't convinced. So then he, uh, he got the support of all the climbing community. They wanted to see this happen, but they also, he also went to social media and the Chinese government saw how many people across the world wanted to see Nims and his team do this final peak. And they ended up granting him permission. So Nims and his team were able to summit that 14th peak and they did all of these all of these 14 peaks in six months and six days wow. instead of seven years. And uh, really just shows you, one, the power of what's possible if you put your mind to it, but two, um, when you have a motive like Nims did to kind of bring pride to his native, native country and to do this for his mother and just the motivation he had was was extremely um, positive that he was able to do that. So I just like that story. I don't expect you guys to to climb those peaks. I probably won't because I don't want to die. But um, uh, there, it's amazing what people can accomplish. And just remember, if you're faced with something hard or something that you are being told might be impossible, just remember Nims and his team. And remember that if you have the right motivation, you can do anything, even if it's impossible. Okay, love you guys. Happy Thursday and have a great day. Bye, Buddha. Thank you. Thank you.